Well, one of the most competitive and contentious races in Southern California this November is the race for Congress from the 25th District. That covers Santa Clarita, Simi Valley, and the Antelope Valley. KCAL 9's Chris Holmstrom takes a look at the two candidates, Congressman Mike Garcia and Assemblywoman Christy Smith. He broke records and piloted the F-18 Super Hornet in combat. Answering our nation's call, he served with honor. America is hurting, but our community is strong, and we'll get through this together. Political experts call it one of the most exciting races in the country, California's 25th district. Uh, this is a district that everybody wants to win. It's really in the sights of Republicans and Democrats. Republican Congressman Mike Garcia is a former Navy pilot and executive at a defense contractor. Democratic State Assemblywoman Christy Smith has served the area for years. They both faced off in a special election last spring to fill the seat after Katie Hill resigned. Garcia won a six-month term. In November, they're fighting for the full two-year term. Career politician Christy Smith is running again. But her priorities are just as mixed up as before. When somebody's the president of the United States, the authority is total. I absolutely do support the president. I always have. Garcia's key issues include national security, keeping taxes low, and strict immigration laws. Smith's key issues include improving public education, lowering taxes, and affordable health care for all. Both live in a district susceptible to wildfires. Here in California, it's been a record-breaking fire season, with more than 3.2 million acres burned so far. We need to invest in the, uh, the brush clearance and the, the fuels management programs like we used to, but uh, at a higher level. We've got to bring the resources. We've got to get the large aerial, tank, aerial tankers into the district, uh, start fighting this fire like, like it's combat. Federal land uh, management is really important, and we need to make sure that we are stepping up to our responsibilities there, not only engaging in climate policy, but effective stewardship of uh, maintaining those lands, keeping them fire safe, and being prepared for what is this unfortunate new normal. Another key issue, racial inequality. Since May, there's been a nationwide push to defund police. This comes after George Floyd was killed by police in Minneapolis. It's astounding to me that politicians are actually calling to defund police in times like this. Uh, now's the time we need to be not only defending them, but also investing in more training for them, getting them more resources, uh, not only in the local communities, but also at the border. Uh, these are the folks that are allowing us to stay safe, and in our district, we have one of the safest districts in the nation because of our law enforcement. But in order to see the kind of changes in community policing and law enforcement we want to see, it's going to take greater investment. It's going to take greater investment in training for our law enforcement officials in the process of transparency, which we've passed a lot of good bills around, but also in providing the kind of supportive personnel like social workers, like psychiatric health workers, to be out in the field deployed with law enforcement to do some of that important supportive work. As for the pandemic, Garcia says he wants to focus on reopening schools and giving federal relief to small business owners and those unemployed. Smith says federal funding is also necessary, especially for the small businesses who employ millions of people around the country. Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News. And stay with KKL 9 News for continuing coverage of campaign 2020. And you can get information on all the major races at kkl9.com slash elections.